Hello everyone, welcome. My name is Adam J. Pestridge. Welcome to the P3D video. Today, uh, we're going to talk a little bit about Windows 10, if you're still using that. Um, I am. Uh, Windows 11 now, you can actually upgrade if you want your PC, your Windows 10, to Windows 11. But uh, for those of you who have... Uh, P3D version 5 or any version of P3D for that matter, um, you might want to just hold off upgrading to Windows 11 because um, you just never know what uh, problems may arise when you upgrade your operating system and your software for P3D is sort of designed for a earlier sort of version of uh, architecture for the Windows installation. So, in other words, P3D version 5 was designed to be used with Windows 10. Um, so, Windows 11 may hold a lot of the same characteristics, same files, same folder paths that Windows 10 uses, so the installation will go fine, um, and the use may go fine. But the environment has definitely changed, and therefore, you might just want to wait until the next upgrade, which is currently in development. You know, there is a 5.3 now being worked on that um, when that launches, that will be compatible with Windows 11 fully. No problems. Um, you just you might just see little, you know, bits here and there. But that's not really what this video is about, to be fair. Um, this video is about Windows 10 and how you can activate the GPU-based scheduling for your graphics card for P3D for better performance, okay? So I'm always about making sure you guys have got the best running Sims and that it's taken in full advantage of your hardware. We already checked out the power options for Windows 10. If you haven't seen those videos, I'll link them down below. Go check them out. But if you want to also generate a little bit more juice from your PC, follow these steps. Um, first off, you need to go into the Windows settings. So if you click on your start button, you'll see this gear icon here. So just click settings and it'll bring up your back menu. If you go to system and display and just make sure that in the advanced section that your dis your main display is active there, right? Because this is what is going to be uh, used in the next section. If you go back and scroll down to graphic settings, make sure you've activated your graphics, your GPU scheduling, it's on. And make sure it says desktop app. And then you can add just by clicking browse and then you know, find the executable for P3D. And if we click on this and go to options, you've got different um, settings here. So I can actually get, and this is talking about the power, you know, performance profiles that we made in the earlier video. I could get this to run on power saving or I could get this to run on high performance. So I'm actually scheduling like in process lasso, it to activate the high performance mode. So if I was to put my PC in power saving, Windows would change it to high performance when running um, P3D, right? Which if we go to uh, here, hardware sound, power options, that's exactly what, I mean, I've been using P3D today, so that's exactly what it's sitting in, high performance. So, that's just another way to get a little bit of extra juice, especially for your GPU, into your sim, okay? That's it, guys. It's as easy as that. If you find my videos helpful, then thank you for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate that. It really does help me um, to make more content and do more flights and, and help you guys out with P3D, you know. P3D is going to be around for a while. It's not going anywhere, guys. So don't be afraid just because there's a new sim on the block and there'll be like X-Plane 12 around the corner. So, you know, we live in a time where there's loads of sims everywhere. And I'm, I think that's great. I think that we, it's beautiful that we have so much choice. So if one is playing up, you can use the other one and still enjoy your hobby. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching my video. Take care, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.